Hey guys, Jarrell here, back with more episodes of The Expanse. We're on Season 3, Episode 2. The first one was um, quite explosive and quite action-packed, as quite a lot of the episodes have been recently. We had Bobby's little um, spacewalk when she almost fell off the ship because of the, uh, the magnetic uh, mag locks were failing on the suit. They've managed to escape even though they've had to separate off with her and other surveillor in this rocket ship and the others in, in effect, an escape ship, a drop ship. Um, an escape pod, sorry. And I don't know what information inf uh, Evan Wright's going to have now because he's father muscles that ship. That ship is gone. He's going to think she's out of the way, which we know. Oh, did you have a bad dream? Really? My daddy. Oh, I know. I know you do so <sighs> hard. But you're a big girl. I brought you here because you are special. Now, this nurse is going to take you for a little checkup. It's okay. It's okay. Bye-bye. Yeah, stop it with the smiles. We know that's not what it's about. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about Kotia. Did you kill him? Then fuck your sorries. <laughs> what is this? If we're within that range and they fire, we won't be able to dodge the torpedoes. Then perhaps we should move a bit faster. At this separation, a good pilot would be able to dodge a torpedo. Are you a good pilot? No, I'm a marine. <coughs> pilot carrying me to kill things. I'm just going to take a look around. Shit! They got us. Crap. Not yet. Hang on. What are you doing? Trying not to kill you. I can't go any slower than this. Is that better? I'm all right. But I'm not. We need to send a message. We can't. Our comms were locked out from the Guanxian. I've got an emergency wideband transmitter, but it's low power and only sends MCRN encrypted. Only Martians will understand it. To them, you're a war criminal and I'm a deserter. The UN is trying to kill us. If Mars throws us both in prison, that's an improvement. <laughs> it is right now. Rossi Hunty may pick this up. When we do it properly, all we'll need is Erica Palm, Lady Palm, Spider Plant, and Peace Lily. Those are the best purifiers. We're running low on air filters. This just stretch we got till after I.O. Oh, and Amos rigged a safety shutter to protect the panels in case the apartment needs to be evacuated. Well, it was Doc's idea, too. IFF just picked up a signal. IFF? Uh, it's an identified friend or foe. It's a target recognition system. It lets you know if someone's on your team or not. I have a high level diplomatic target. Yes! It's Juliet from Lost now. Dude! Okay. <laughs> You're fired. Stop it! I'm Anna. What's your name? Uh, Colin. Colin, look at me. Is this your first protest? Uh huh. Are you? What's your name? I'm not supposed to give her a name. Tell her your fucking name. Michael. Michael, this is Colin. <laughs> He needs medical attention. I know you have a first aid station near here, right? No. Your MPs were handing them out to the protesters. You haven't changed a bit. I love this actress. I like to think I have. Why am I here? I was going to send you a message. And then I thought it better in person. And I need your help. Bullshit. <laughs> That's why I like there it. There are not many people that talk to me like that anymore. At least not to my face. The people are terrified, and I want to reassure them. I'll be addressing the General Assembly. Hmm. It'll be the single most important speech of my life. I want you to help me write it. My church just opened a free clinic for undocumenteds. We have to barter with drug dealers for meds that we can't afford. Support my clinic for a year. I'll help you with your speech. 
Story of our lives. Rossi picked up a distress call. There's a Martian Marine out there that's in the shit. This is an MMC emergency assist request. I have a high-level diplomatic target and immediate threat. We are in a civilian racing vessel being pursued by a rogue UNN hostile. Request all possible assist. There are people dying all over the system, Howard. Yeah, but you could do with rescue in this one. You want to log a distress call against orders on the can, you do that. Naomi decides to ignore what we all vote on, she does that. But a Martian sends up a flare and all of a sudden we got rules? Alex. No! I like how they're circling the camera here. Help try to find your daughter. I don't really have a say in this. Yes, you do. You're part of this crew. So we just go back to business? Can you look him in the eye and tell him that whatever this might be is more important than finding his kid? My accounts are still frozen and family's still in custody. When those issues have been corrected, then we can discuss delivery. Not one minute before. Earth and Mars witness a power that can turn an asteroid into a guided missile. You construct a ship down to its rivets in an instant, and all they want to do is destroy each other over it. The protomolecule is clearly not what we thought it was, but... If Aaron Wright uses the hybrids, they could lay waste to all of Mars. All hybrid positivity for transfer. I don't know what it is, where it comes from. Don't try to distract me like I were a child. It forces you to breathe. Do anything, just don't pass out. Brace yourself. Oh! Oh, oh shit! Oh, hell! No. More torpedoes! A lot more! Another ship just fired on us! How the hell are they gonna get out of this? Especially if they're not gonna help. A sign from God? That's a question people who aren't religious use to make fun of people who are. <laughs> no mockery intended. Jules Pierre Mao knows what it is. When we get our hands on that prick, we'll be sure to ask him. The bounty's up to 20 million. Someone will spot him. My money's on a belter. I've already frozen his assets. Can't hide forever. And if that's not enough, we know where his children live. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? The sins of the father on his children. You know, we've had a whole other testament since then, right? Collective punishment is still a war crime. Look it up. <laughs> he does not want her that. I think I'm getting used to IG. I dropped our burn to 1G when our escort showed up. Shit. <laughs> if they pull any sort of turn, we end up being impaled. Oh hell! Hey. It's ours. Hey. I can't breathe. Your oxygen's knocked out. Don't panic. <laughs> panic sets in so quickly when you can't breathe. It's had their limitations, but we've learned so much since then. The proto molecule can't be controlled. Actually, sir, that's not true. It can be controlled. These children are the key. Oh, crap. All these children share a rare genetic immune deficiency that only occurs on Ganymede, which I discovered could be used to inhibit the protomolecule. Damn it. That's why he's got these. Dr. Strickland said the 
by the time we're ready to leave, will be cured. Really? Hmm? He'll also probably not be Can human. Want to see something cool? Yeah. I... Oh, wow. Well. It's already... Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Things broken. Well done, Amos. Now he's going to go fly. Hang on to that. <laughs> Torpedoes left, PDC rounds run at 10%. That was so no fine. With no bullets. We're not the ones at war. We are now. So I can't bear the thought of finding me like that. I don't know shit about Perry. But what I do know is that a kid needs at least one person who never gives up on them. No matter Kay. what. If you give up on me, what does she got left? She needs you. What do you got left? I've really come round to Amos. I didn't like him at first, but he's warm to me. Help her, please. Damn, these we're only two episodes into season three and I am hooked. They've, they've been so good so far. I was wondering whether they were going to be able to rescue her or not. And they have, but at what cost? What state is she now in with how much trauma her body's just had to go through with all those g-forces in that ship bobby's trained for it she's young she's fit she's healthy avis rail is what she's got to be late 60s 70s more than likely i'm not sure i could handle that in my 40s so ah um the interesting part for me with that is we've just found out exactly what these children are for why these ones were protected all, at all cost why it's been hidden in an abandoned um reactor um so <sighs> jules mao is thinking he can no longer can control this he doesn't want everything to be handed over to either side because as he said all they're bent on doing is destroying each other and using it to their advantage and he thinks it can't be controlled now he's just been told it can and how and how that process will work i still don't think they know nowhere near enough about this thing but they are experimenting on these children because they have this genetic disorder um we're just going to have to wait and see uh, what what that entails. Is that going to is that going to turn them into more hybrids? Is it going to be a symbiotic kind of thing, or is it just going to allow them to control the protein molecule and the kids are expendable? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. That maneuver that they just pulled when he said. This is all we've got because we are outgunned and outmanned here. We picked this fight 
and the person we picked a fight with is ten times our size and is heavily armoured. But that manoeuvre was fabulous and it just tore the damn thing apart. That was great. The space scenes in this are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I love them. And this woman who's turned up, um, I don't know her name yet. Begins with a V. <laughs> She's going to be an issue. Erin Wright doesn't want her there. She is going to put Spanner in the works because he's going to take advice from her. He's going to listen to her. She's going to point out the errors and things that she shouldn't be doing. She's done it already. And he's also waiting now to hear back because he got that message saying there's a rogue element that's got away they're chasing them they'll, they'll update you it's gonna go wrong for him he just doesn't know it yet he's he's kind of on edge expecting or oh, everything's going 